So I'm Susan. I'm going to read three short pieces. I grew up in a little tiny town in very conservative rural Indiana. And I find I'm often writing, reflecting on that time and place of my life. You can't get no more conservative than rural in the world. You are right. You are right, Chris. <laughs> so this one is called Thinking Back. We all sat around laughing about it because we could picture it. But we weren't making fun of you, Dad. It's just that we could picture you telling the story. We all wondered why you never went to Keith's service station, one of the two in our little town, not for gas, or even to get your tires filled up. Keith's station was just down the road from our house, but all we ever saw of it was the outside window, smeared and smudged, and sometimes the big door was flung open, and we could see Keith working on a car suspended in the air in the small service bay. It was once when we were all sitting around the big round oak table where our childhood was, where there were plastic placemats with maps of the world or rows of US presidents and where mom's tiny, bird, tiny string of birdcage lights was strung above the kitchen sink at Christmas. And then we were older. And someone asked finally, why you never stopped at Keith's? And you said it was because one time, this old car that you had, the only car you had at the time, would drive only in reverse, but you needed that. So you drove it backwards to Keith's station. And just when you were about to explain to him what the trouble was, he yelled, get that piece of shit out of here. <laughs> and it was years later when we all sat around at a different kitchen table that we all remembered that story, and we asked each other how you drove it home, <laughs> and in which lane, and whether Daryl, the town sheriff, would have given you a ticket, and if so, what it would have been for. <laughs> driving in the wrong lane? Driving backwards? And how would the sheriff have followed you? And would you have seen him pulling you over? <laughs> say, Dad, was that we all wished that we could hear you tell that story again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is called The Town Square. When my father would drive us past the town square on the brick streets of our little town on the way home from church, I would look out the window to see who was sitting on the bench in the town square. There was only one bench, painted a thick green. My father would usually mutter something about who we saw sitting on that bench, and I thought he meant to say they were troublemakers, ne'er-do-wells. There were sometimes two boys, Fred and Roy, on hot summer days, with their shirts off, other days in white t-shirts and jeans. And once I saw a girl sitting with them, named Gina, and I thought, well, now she is in there doing well too, or at least she might become one. Gina had short hair with long bangs that covered her large dark eyes, and her mother was the school librarian. Another time Gina's friend Gigi, who had strawberry blonde hair, was sitting on the bench too, and they both wore their bikini tops and cut off shorts. We never stopped to talk to anybody sitting on the bench at the town square, and my father never waved to them. The boys would be sitting with their hands on their knees, smoking, or with their arms stretched out across the green bench. I could not hear what they were saying to each other, even with, with my window open, but only the rumbling of my father's car on the brick streets. Then one day, we saw a boy sitting on the bench who we had never seen sitting there before. He was sitting with Fred who I thought was bad because of his last name that was not a good name in our small town. And I thought, this is a bad sign, and this new boy will become a troublemaker or do something bad. Or is that what my father said? No one sits on the green bench now. It is empty, and the storefronts on the town square are nearly all empty or gone except for one or two bars and 
Cindy's hair salon. The town is silent and dusty, and I hear only the wheels of my little car rumbling on the brick, street, brick streets around the town square. Oh.